In this video, we're going to focus on how we can create these text labels here or data labels on top of a bar chart. And if I refresh, we can see here they are nicely moving along with the bar. So we'll continue on with creating data labels on top of a bar chart. And we're going to create our own custom data labels. We want to put them here at the very top in the center of each bar, getting the value here. So to do this, Make sure you have the starting point of this here, which you can find on this video here on how to add a line on top of a bar chart. If you want to get the source code immediately, check out my Patreon page here. Join the Discord channel as well. All these links are in the description box. So what I'm going to do now is start working on that. So what, where we're going is scrolling down here. Then within this plugin here, we will just continue immediately. And all we have to do here is a few things. First of all, I'm going to put in here text. And then I'm going to say here, I want to have ctx.font to draw fonts in the canvas. And what I want to do here is create, give it a bold 12 pixel sans serif font family type. Next, what I want to do is I want to give it a color. So I say ctx.fill style. And we can say here, this one will be maybe black or gray. Doesn't really matter. Anything goes. Finally, I want to put in or draw the text. So I'm going to say ctx.fill text and then in here I need three values the text value I need the x coordinate and the y coordinate luckily we already have all of these done before so what I will do here is just grab here basically the data point x just copy that put that in here and we can just say here this will be data point y then what I need to do here is give it the value but let's test this by saying save and see what we get and as you can see here, we're getting something, but the position is slightly off. So I want to reposition them correctly. First of all, I want to make sure it is in the center. So what I'm going to do here, underneath, I say ctx.text alignment or align, and we will align it to the center. Save that, refresh, there we are. Then let's push this up. So what we need to do here is we need to push it up from the data point Y. So I have to deduct that and we are going to deduct maybe 15 pixels. Let's see if that will work. So I refresh now and you can see here we have 15 pixels. which gives us a little bit of space between the line and the text. That looks perfect. So now we have that. What I want to do next is grab the value of 18, 12, etc, etc. So what we can do here, we can say here this, we're going to remove, this is our static text. And we can just grab it basically from our data here. That's how you have this data object. We say data dot data sets. We're going to put it on index zero because this is data set zero. And then we're going to say data. And then we're going to grab here the array or the index value, which is this one here. Let's copy that, put it in here, save, refresh. And now we get the values here. So if you have a very high value, so let me show you here. Uh, let's put this on and almost 1000 let's save that refresh you can see here this might be uh, jumping out too much so what we can do here is we can solve that with the grace we can just say here grace i want to have 10 percent of the value or what would be the closest to it it's either one tick or 10 percent of it and you can see here now we have enough space here to avoid that it will stick outside the chart area so the final item that we could do here is change the color because you can see here we have all these black colors but let's convert it into a solid color well we have here already this item here so we can just borrow this and just put it in here so it will just get the border color and if i refresh that you can see now all the colors are equal to the bar border beautiful and that's it